All right, Shalom. Stop for a giving all praises and glories unto Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at the Great Millstone. And greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect. Uh, it's Brother Shaquat from the Las Vegas camp. Um, doing a little bit of reading and um, came across this. Um, plus, we, we you know, you, uh, you kind of see um, the times are getting very close. And um, there are some uh, um, situations that that have arisen and that will continue to arise. And and the beautiful thing about it, as we get closer, the body is getting tighter and more close knit. Okay, and so since I've been watching this unfold between the camps and, and the heads and the, and, and the, the men within the camps, um, the spirit led me to the to, to this chapter, Matthew the eighteenth chapter. And um, as I read into it, I was like, this is this is edifying. This, you know, fits in this time. And there's a lot of uh, key notes that can come out of this entire chapter. Um, you know, and you can go really in depth because this is one thing that I reached out to a brother. Actually, the, the brother Barack Abar, he, he says something beautiful, man. You know, we have to fight um, against ourselves and fight in this brotherhood, man. You know, fight for one another. And that's what this thing is about, okay? None of us are perfect. None of us um, have got it. You know, none of us don't need Yahweh Shai, don't need mercy. You know, we all are under that, uh, under, under that okay? We all fall under uh, necessity of those things, okay? We all need the body, you know? None, none of this works without the entire body. Uh, that comes together, all right? We can't defeat these enemies, whether it be Esau, whether it be ourselves, whether it be um, the demons, you know, that, that that go about seeking whom, you know, the devil seeking whom he may devour. All of these things, man, you know? There's things that brothers know, you know, whether it be tinctures or whatever, that can heal you. Prayers or whatever that you should read, that you can get, gain from a brother, um, that can heal your family, you know. There, there, there's kind words that a brother can give you. There's the necessity for each brother in the entire body, the whole one hundred and forty-four thousand and the one third. There's necessity for all of us. Okay, Lord willing, we're all uh, of that number or those numbers, if you will. Okay. So anyway, I'm gonna get right into it. So that's kind of the basis to what, to what this was, okay? So uh, Matthew chapter 18, I'm going to start with verse 12. It says, How think ye, if a man having a hundred sheep, we're going to start the parable of the lost sheep, okay? It says, How think ye, if a man having a hundred sheep, and one of them go astray, do not he leave the ninety and nine, and go into the mountains and seek that which is gone astray? He going to leave the whole flock to rescue the one that went astray said, and if so be, excuse me. And if so be that he, he find it verily, I say unto you, he rejoices more than the sheep, more of that sheep than of the 90 and nine, which went not astray. Now you ask yourself, Whoa, why did he find more value in the one than the 90 and nine? Well, the value is in the 100 sheep, okay? The value is in the 100 sheep, not in 99. It's not 143,999. It's 144,000, okay? All right, so it's imperative that we understand that Whatever situations or differences we may have with a brother, and we don't see eye to eye. You still gotta look at that brother as he's as he's your your fellow servant, man. You know, um, <laughs> I heard a phrase before, man. There's a lot of friendly fire. You know, there's a lot of friendly fire. Okay, I've heard that phrase before in this since I've been in this truth, and we have to be cautious of that, right? For 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 you know, for for making sure we're not, um, 
setting a stumbling block before any, any you know another brother and it's going to get down into that let me keep going it says uh, even so it is not the will of your father Yahweh, which is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish yeah because if, if this man's called then he may be possibly of the elect we have to make sure that we are making sure that Yahweh is pulling him out this truth or that he put him in this truth and we have to do our best to make sure that he makes it all the way through as far as he's supposed to. Lord willing to the to the end. And that should be our mind state. That the man that's standing next to me has my best intention as I have his best intention. Okay? And the men around us, we have their best intentions. Meaning, we want them to make it. Okay? I, I even went extreme in a, in a phrase that I, you know, that I, that I, told myself I wouldn't necessarily prescribe any man to, to take this on themselves, but this is how I look at it. Who's willing to give up their salvation so the next man can have it? For the next brother can have it. Okay? who Who's willing to do that? What if that's the test? You know? Because we're all being tried by fire. What if that's the test? Who's willing to to, I won't want to say give it up, but who's willing to risk their salvation so the next man can have it? Okay? Because you may both be of the elect, but until you risk it or willing to go, I got some real quick, um, or willing to go to that extreme to, to for that man to have an opportunity for salvation just like you do and to help him get as far along as he can through you. Just because that's the path that was laid out before you both, you know, that may that may be, and we have to take that into account. All right. Um. Yes. Uh. Yeah. We're gonna start up here. Um. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start at verse six, Romans chapter five, verse six. For when we were yet without strength. In due time, Yahweh Shai died for the ungodly. For though he died for the two thirds, man. Okay, Yahweh Shai died for the two thirds as well to come back into the fold eventually, after death by pain, but eventually. So, how much more should we be willing to risk ourselves, you know, for, for the man that's fighting? All right, it says, um, for scarcely for a righteous man will one die. All right, yeah, you'll fight for 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 somebody you 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 truly believe in that's fighting with you. How far will you are you willing to go with that? As I as I prescribe myself to, you know, and I would like I said I wouldn't always ask another man to think this way, but this is this is what makes sense to me. Let's put on my spirit. Who's willing? I'm I'm I feel like I'm I'm willing to risk my salvation. So the next man can make it. What the point is the good intention that I have. You know, Lord willing, this is not, you know, off kilter or anything. But that but that that's the extreme sometimes we may need to hear it in. Okay? For scarcely because then when you when you when you're in anything that that you truly care about those that are around you, you're willing to like your children. Prime example, like your children, you that you truly care about and love, you're willing to sacrifice. Okay, to make this agenda uh, happen. Okay, some of us will have to sacrifice our lives. We're, we're basically saying we will have to be martyrs into this thing. Well, yeah, how was I was a martyr, so so to speak. Okay, he died for for the body. And for the two thirds, those that don't even deserve it. OK, so how much more should we be fighting for those that are in the body? OK, that believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that's fighting for their salvation. OK. Just something to, 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 to put on brothers minds, man. OK, to make sure just just and if and if you're not in this thing, understand that this is part of what you're signing up for. OK. You're, you're you're signing up for this, you know. Just to say it this way, I don't. You know, the spirit and the Most High has it has its own plan. But are you willing to, to be beheaded for this truth? Are you willing to 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 die for the apostles or for for other great men around us? Okay, because 
that may be your role in this thing. Okay, that you take the heat so this man can go on edifying and get those that's not meant to, because we know the reward of a martyr. We know the reward. If, if you don't, there's videos on it. <clears throat> go to the book of Revelation, the, the 20th chapter. Okay, it tells you about the reward of being a, mar uh, a martyr. All right, so are you willing to, to take that role on or accept that role if it was if it was given to you for the next man? So that he can continue to guide that that those, those men that that church, you know, edify whatever whatever level the Most High puts on his spirit to to push forward. Are you willing to do that? All right, and 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 that's the stony hearts that we still have in his flesh, man. That's the battle, the condition of the battle that we're still fighting. Okay, fighting the selfishness because this truth is about selflessness. Okay, it's not about us at all. It's about Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's what it's about. And only about that. We're just vessels down here. We're nothing special. Okay? We're nothing special. We're, we're, we're filthy, man, down here. Okay? It's nothing to glory in for us down here. All right? Anyway, let me read on. So, for scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man's son would even dare to die. OK, but the most high command commandeth his love toward us that in that while we were yet sinners, Yahweh shall die for us. So we have to if we were given a gift of our Lord uh, dying for us, how much more do we have to uh, repay that? We can't repay it up. So we have to repay it out to, to, the, to those that are around us. OK. A servant is not greater than his master. So if, if he died for us, we have to be willing to die for these other men around us. Okay, you have to put yourself out on a limb for somebody that may be inquiring about this truth. Okay, uh, you know, uh, you, you have to, you know, nah, man, you, you don't really want it. Well, they don't understand how to want it. They don't understand the severity of it. You know, talking about the two thirds that may walk up and inquire. And they may be of the two thirds or they may be getting called. OK, we have to put ourselves in that position at times. All right. Just but, you know, if a man don't hear you, you know, if he's filthy and he and you, you tell him the truth and he still don't want to get it, you tell him twice and he still don't get it. Time to move on. I have friends in the world that, that still hit me up, you know, family or whatever. And um, every once in a while, I'll drop a little jewel or two if they don't pick up on it. You know, but I, I'm in the point where I'm starting to rub those that I've told before that's, that's still connected to me through the families. Hey, I'm starting to rub them wrong on purpose. And how am I rubbing them wrong? Dropping jewels of, 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 of the scriptures on. Well, you know that day's coming, man. You see what this Popeye chicken sandwich is doing to people. You know what I'm saying? H have you tried one? Ah, you know, I just had to, whatever. Rub them wrong, man. Why not? Make them choose a side, man. Pick a, draw a line in the sand with these people. You gonna stand up for righteousness or you gonna go with the world? And if you go with the world, man, I'm not over there with you. I'm not coming over there with you. And you can't come over here unless you come all the way over here. Sincerely. Because if you come over here and you ain't right, you won't get destroyed severely. All right? But it's not our place to judge who's on which side. It's the, we have to allow the spirit to, to, to show the choice that the most high made. Okay? The election that the most high made to put us on which side we're on. Okay? And then we have to fulfill those roles. Anyway, let me go back. Matthew 18. I think I was down around. Yeah. Let's go around there and see. Um, yeah. Yeah, it says... Uh, Verse 15 now says, Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass, and this is this is key right here. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault. This is the protocol of how to squash and quell little shit, man. There's a lot of major shit coming, man. Okay, there's a lot of major situations that are gonna come. Imagine if there's only two slices of bread that you find in a day of famine, man, when there's no food out there. But there's five brothers, man. Oh, I would just divide it up. But what if you know that a, 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 a morsel of that bread ain't going ain't gonna to solve it for you? Ain't going to solve your, 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 your fleshly issues. 
this is going to test us truly. And if we can't get this brotherhood thing and sacrificing for one another and fighting for one another thing correctly, while we still have running water and food and, 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 and light and warmth and comfort to the world, how, how, how much shorter will we come when, when the power's off, man? When the shit really hits the fan. Okay? That's, that's what we're being built up for. The two-thirds is going to bug out. That's not the man that you fight for. You don't fight for the two-thirds. Okay? You don't fight for them that don't believe in your how about Shim Yahshua. You don't fight for them calling on Jesus. You don't fight for them calling on Kimmy. You don't fight for them, I'm going to just do me, and, you know, whatever else. And, man, if I get my money and I find, with, with, with malice in their heart, you don't fight for them. You fight for them that's fighting for their salvation from your how about Shim Yahshua. Okay? It says, uh, moreover, if a brother trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. And if he shall hear thee, thou hast gained a brother. And and there's, there's always going to be fallouts, man. There's always going to be different opinions. We come from different backgrounds coming into this body. We come from different thought processes. Okay? Different upbringings. All right? We don't all learn exactly the same scriptures at the same exact time that hit us exactly the same way. Okay? So we have to, in the understanding, don't hit each other in, in, in every breakdown the same way at the same time. Sometimes you, you can just get it from reading it. Sometimes you need experience to, to come through and teach it to you. Okay? So, there, you know, that that's part of this this. this this battle that we're fighting. All right. It says, um, but if he will not hear thee, then take with one, excuse me, take with thee one or two more that in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established that you can both somebody there to mediate. He's not there to take your side. It's because you brought him to the scene He's there to mediate. Okay. That brother, the brother or two that you bring is there to mediate. All right, it's not there to say yeah, yeah, whatever he says. He he brought me over. That's whatever he says. No, they're to the mediate. All right, to make sure that oh no, so hold on, y'all y'all just y'all thinking the same things, but y'all just not understanding where each other's coming from. This is what I'm seeing as I mediate this. Okay, and that but the point is that every word may be established, may be said in truth. Oh, I didn't. Oh, brother, I didn't know. I, I didn't know I was doing that to you. And and humility is a beautiful thing. Humility is a beautiful thing, man. Okay, if you want to fight over something, fight over being the most humble. Okay, that's something willing to fight over, man. No, nah, brother, it's my fault, man. And no, nah, no, nah, brother, it's my fault. No, nah, my nah, bro, I should have, I should have understood, man. I should have came to you and, and inquired a little further. I was, I was tripping, man. I. It's, it's, man, it's not that hard. This is not like the world, okay? Inside this truth is not like the world. The world is that situation that, that, that yeah, yeah, I know, I know, man, because I've, I've been trying to tell you. You should have heard me back when I was, that's what the world will say. But it's okay in this truth, man, to take the low. The low is, is, is the path. The low is the path, man. That's what these scriptures is telling you about, okay? The low is the, is the righteous path. All right, it's not. We're not here to boast over one another. We all got the fighting for the same penny, not the same penny, but the same amount. Okay, the reward that we're looking to get is a penny, man. The lowest denomination of a coin. All right. All right. And if you're worried about the denominations of coins, man, click off this video, man. And just go do something else, because you're not in the right spirit. All right? Anyway. <laughs> anyway, it says, uh, And if he shall neglect to hear them, if, if the words are established in, in, the, in, in either side, still won't hear you, or hear the other side, or come to an agreement after that, then you take it even higher up. But these protocols are set in place. You don't, you don't bother the whole church. Hey, this brother stepped on my shoe, man. This brother, this brother bumped me, man. He read the scripture that I was going to read before before I could read it, man. He always do that. I'm tired of him doing that. You know, that's nothing to be 
well, maybe you should study more to get that next precept or get the precept before that. You know? Hey, figure it out, man. Figure that part out. But you, you should never have, have an evil eye towards your brother. It says, um, it says, uh, and if he will not hear thee, and take, okay, I read that, verse 17, and if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church, but if he neglect to hear the church, let him be as a heathen man and a publican. Yeah, he, he, then, then he gets kicked out the body. Okay? Then he gets kicked out the body. To go do his own thing, to, to to be like, look, you can't you can't play well with others, man. You can't play well with others. You gotta go do something else. Go find some others to play with to go play by yourself. Go in time out or whatever the case may be. But these are the protocols set up. And these protocols have to be um established. Alright? Because if this man I've I've been accused before in this truth of, of, of somebody that had a fault with me, but he never came to me. And told me what the fault was. Okay, he was like, "Hey, bro, you know, you you back back in such and such, you told me such and such and such and such." And I was like, "Damn, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't realize I, you know, I, didn't, I remember saying that, but I didn't think you took it that way. I didn't mean it that way." Nah, man, you 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 knew. I, I, how did I know, bro? I'm not like that. I don't think like that. You know, and then yeah, you may be used to people, you know. Saying things to you like that, but I'm I'm not like that. Salaki, so my fault. I didn't mean. Please forgive me. I didn't mean to, to to offend you in that way. And hey, don't don't let time pass, bro. Bring that to me immediately. Ask me to explain that immediately. I have no problem explaining anything that I that I mean. And if I meant it the other way, I would have told you I meant it that other way in the moment. If 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 I if I didn't, I would I wouldn't. Okay, and we gotta uh, something else. This is on my mind. We gotta, uh, we gotta give the brother the courtesy, man. We gotta give each other the courtesies, man. To to imagine, to to believe, to give them the benefit of the doubt that they mean well by what they do. Okay, if we're in this fold, we have to give brothers the benefit of the doubt that they're innocent, man. That they didn't mean that. But we, but hey, it's okay to bring it to them. Hey, bro, did you mean such and such by this? Oh no, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, okay, okay. I was just checking, bro. You know, I didn't, it kind of came off that way, but you know, maybe I'm being a little sensitive. My bad. Or you know, maybe you know, you know, it, I, I'm I'm cool with it. But you know, another brother may not be if it came off that same way. Oh, and and then and, and when saying that, like, man, you telling me to change? How, yeah, yeah, I am telling you to change how you how you approach some some situations, how you some things that you say. This is what this is about. We, if we're willing to die for one another, then we have to be willing to change the way we approach our speech and our conduct around brothers, man. For the betterment of the body. That doesn't mean, sometimes that means you got to harden yourself a little more. Sometimes that means you got to tone it down a little bit in certain occasions. That's the judgments that we're practicing uh, to become. We're going to be, Lord willing, we're going to be on sitting on 12 thrones judging the kingdom of heaven. All right? Lord willing, we're able to, 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 to gain as much of it down here. But this is what we're doing in this thing, okay? We're practicing uh, the, the judging properly, man, balanced. All right? Um, just a little more, and I'm going to close out. It says, um, Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whew, this is a heavy one. And whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Give mercy that we want mercy, man. Okay, because none of us are worthy of it. Okay. Uh, Yahweh Shai died, man, for all of us, man, and we didn't deserve it. He didn't deserve it. He died for us in a very painful and disgraceful way, man. And he didn't deserve that. Okay, and we didn't deserve his sacrifice. For us, understand that. Understand what that truly means. So, how much more should we be willing to do that for our fellow believer, man, our fellow brother? Okay, I'm gonna go up because of something right before what I read that was, yeah, verse 11, Matthew 18 11. For the Son of Man has come to save that which is lost. That's the, I don't want to say confused, that's the scattered. Israelites, 
That's those that's, that's lost in this world in darkness. He's coming for them. What did he say? Um, I believe it's in the 11th chapter of Matthew. He said, why did, why your master sit and the Pharisees came to, to the, to the men of the Lord. Was like, why, why your master sit with, with publicans and sinners? And then how I heard overheard it and, and, and answered it. He says, for the whole need not a physician, but the sick. Okay. Meaning, but, but who, who is that? That's us. That's still us. Okay. We all need it. We all need him. We all need his spirit. We all needed that sacrifice. We all needed that, that, um, that, that, that blessing that was given from the heavenly father to re reconnect us back to him. We all needed that mediator, man. We all need it. Okay. None of us are worthy to, to, to go beyond, um, the positions. Um, how should I say it? It's lucky, but you know, for, for I'm at a loss of words on it, but, but basically saying we all need that, that grace, man. From your how about you, shy? Because if not, we'd all be dead, man. There would be no church, no flesh left to save, man. You know, I'm, I'm I'm quoting it out of context, but 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 the point should still remain. Okay. All of us are worthy of death, man. Remember that. Hey, it's, I'm trying to remember where that other scripture is at. It said, "For remember uh, that we all were once sinners. We all were once uh, two thirds." Okay. So when you judge Jeff, remember that, man. Remember that, hey, this man is going through something, man. Let me, I remember this situation. I was in this situation. He's battling with something. The point is that we're gaining. We're here to fish out the elect. We're not here to throw fish back into the, into the waters, man. Okay? And back to that 18th verse when it said, Whatever was who, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. So whatever you, you realize and understand that, hey, this man... It's a good man. Hey, let's let's bring him into the fold and, and keep him. Oh, that man's a wicked ass dude. Let's kick this dude out. Those things matter. Especially when those judgments are on point. Okay, so how much more important is it that, that we make sure these judgments are on point? You would hate to throw back an elect fish, so to speak. That shows that your judgment's off. You would hate to throw an elect fish back. Okay? I fear that, man. I, I've given... Wicked ass people, man. People that have been convicted of murder at this point. Opportunities. You know, trying to lock you. Opportunities that they can, you know, get 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 themselves together, man. And that's just I'm not speaking on, on me. You know. It ain't, it ain't about any glory for me. It's just, hey, I want mercy, so I, I do my best to try to give it. Do I put myself out on the limb for somebody that's crossed me? No, but I give them opportunity and space to repent. Not even just to me. It ain't about me. I don't care if they ever speak on me in a, in a positive light ever again. But if they understand through the spirit of the situation, they repent with the most high through Yahweh Shai. Hey, it's good enough for me. If I find that man, if Lord willing, if I make it and that man's on a chariot too, hey, great. Either way. Either way. All right. So we got to let the petty shit go, man. Apostle Ramlau did a video a couple weeks ago where at the, toward the end of the video he brought it up and, if, and, it, and it's been on, had my spirit on fire since just trying to figure out you know how I can better myself in, in these judgments you know to make sure that I'm not creating or, or, or perpetuating a, a grudge anywhere that I'm not setting up any kind of stumbling blocks for anybody you know that I'm not offending anybody and, I, and, you know, I, I have a peculiar spirit, as most of us do have. And, and that's to understand, brothers, that, that have met me, that may, that may know me. That's, that's never my intention. I am trying to be the person that I truly am. But, hey, we, we still in these wicked bodies, man. We still got these wicked, stony hearts, man. We, 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 we just trying to fight for our salvation, you know. And a brother may say something wrong to you or whatever. We got to let a lot of this little shit go, man. Because that's not what's important. Is that man still doing what he's supposed to do, fighting for his salvation? All right. Anyway, I'm going to stop there. It's a great chapter. Lord, when I get to go back into it, man? Because, I mean, it's a lot in this chapter, man. In this brotherhood, 
I, the the beautiful things that's going on in the brotherhood, man, it's so so wonderful. You know, you, you watch men fight for each other, man. You watch men well, raise money for each other. You watch all kinds of stuff, man. Pray for each other. Give beautiful scriptures and words to each other, man. This this is what this is truly all about. Okay? On their own time. Don't, you know, it ain't about just throwing prayers out there for, for brothers that, you know, because, because they asked for it. But just having it in your spirit to want to have the right things be perpetuated through you. And for other brothers, man, and their families, people we haven't met before. All right. So anyway, with that, I'm gonna close out giving all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai Bashim Dash, the Balana to the apostles and the elders at the Great Millstone who rule well and greetings, salutations, and blessings, man. Shalom, man. Keep fighting, brothers. All right. We almost there. It's getting tight. Hey, don't, don't, don't push out. Just when, when we get uncomfortable, man, that don't mean push that same vibration out on the next man to get uncomfortable with you, man. Let's still try to make each other comfortable in this thing. You know, if everybody's looking out for the next man, everybody's covered, man. With that, to the next one, shallow one.